I'm John Tobias from Xenon Depot, and today I'm going to talk about the importance of dielectric grease. Here I got a small tube of Morimoto dielectric grease, and while it doesn't look like much, this could save you a lot of time, money, and effort further down the road. Now if you ever do any off-roading, overlanding, or even if you live up in the north where they salt the roads, this is extremely important for you. So now I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the steps, how to use it, talk about why it is so important, and let's get to it. I'm going to show you how to use this on a couple different common applications. One of them will be our turn signal bulb and also our HID kit, which is used for off-roading. So what makes using dielectric grease so important is that it prevents contaminants from entering connectors that are used outside of the vehicle. So turn signals, headlights, taillights, stuff like that, anything that is not inside of the vehicle or inside of a headlight, this will help prevent corrosion. These contaminants can be anything from water, dirt, grime, or even salts if you drive up north and they salt on the road. If you don't use something like dielectric grease, what can happen is debris will get inside of these connectors and will result in premature failure. No one wants to be stuck out in the middle of the woods when it's negative 20 degrees outside and have a blown out headlight bulb. Using the small tube of grease can help prevent that. This will prevent corrosion from forming inside of that connector and will prolong the life of that bulb. This is a simple preventative measure that will save you a lot of time, money, and effort. So here on this turn signal bulb we have quite a few connections here that I'm going to show you how to apply this dielectric grease on. Once you have the cap off and the hole punctured, you're going to apply the grease all around these threads. Wipe your finger all around the threads to ensure an even spread. Once that's done, go ahead and make the connection and tighten down the cap. Easy as that. And do it like this for any other similar connections. Now for the actual socket that will plug into the headlight, this is where it's going to get a little bit different. While this dielectric grease is non-conductive, you don't really want to apply it directly on the pins. So what you want to do is apply it directly in between the pins and also at the base of this connector and then wipe it down. If you have any grease that is touching the pins, just simply wipe it off. If there is some remaining grease there, it's not a big deal. It is non-conductive, so the light will still function perfectly fine. For off-road HID kits, the process is the exact same, except for we're going to use this grease on the factory headlight bulb connector and then plug it directly into the ballast. It really is that easy. Using this dielectric grease only takes a couple minutes of your time up front, but it will save you a lot of time and headache down the road. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to follow us on social media for more off-roading content.